this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be demonstrating how to crochet this lovely uh, pattern, this lovely motif. And uh, here is a closer look to give you an idea how it looks like. I saw this um, pattern in 2012 and then as soon as I saw this picture 2014 I said to myself I am going to make this so I've been trying to collect the yarn buying it and then uh, having it shipped to me here in Canada so I, I don't think I still have enough but I'm planning to go to Turkey so I'll be buying more there <laughs> but I wanted to start while I uh, before I go and when I do it I just wanted to jump in and show you how to do this lovely uh, stitch so let's go go ahead and grab the you can you can knit you can you can uh, crochet any yarn that you want but on um, this I want to make this same one <laughs> I just fell in love with it so uh, what I did is I went and I bought it just okay so this is the yarn that she uh, she was talking about the lady who posted on her um, Instagram page so she was she was mentioning she bought this yarn and this is the color that she bought I'm assuming because this is the only blue in this icy blue and here is the number for the color if you want to go ahead and buy this one this is the color but be careful with the lot if you're buying so many be careful with the lot but I don't think it would be that would necessary so what I did is I found this on um, uh, yarnstreet.com I bought these from them one two three four five I guess yeah I bought five just to see how it looks like okay let me put these aside and and I bought one from Etsy uh, Turkish uh, the, uh, they're selling it on Etsy so what I did is I thought oh it's this is too much for me like the price was coming to three dollars so what I did is I saw it from yarnparadise.com <laughs> see it's the same color so I ordered one pack just to see if it's the same color and yes it is it is exactly the same color even this is shinier can you see so this is the yarn that I bought and it, it's this one and this one are the same shine so uh, but that will the, the these uh, five balls will bled in so what I did is every time I ordered yarn I would uh, order a pack I think it comes to eleven dollars but so it's one two three four five six so this this is way cheaper to buy it in packs so I have three packs and I have two extra so I have a total of five packs and I know because in the she's mentioning that one motif makes one of this so one motif makes one of this. I haven't started yet. I'm going to start with you. I only started this to see what kind of crochet hook I would need. So I started this. Just to let you know, you can use any yarn. You can use acrylic yarn. It doesn't have to be cotton Mercedes. 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 Ah, Mercedes. Cotton Mercedes. Oops cut in Mercedes 100% it doesn't have to be it can be as in even though have those uh, sugar and cream or burnet handicapter handicrafter sorry handica uh, handicrafter yarns it can be an even one of those but you need lots of yarn because it does use up lots of yarn and this is pretty big like when you finish it so this is one of the motifs and you need I believe at least I don't know I haven't counted and she doesn't write she didn't write down how many she did they like I I have seen people make pillowcases out of them like make four of this and then put it on a pillow so you can even do that but my plan is to make throwovers or blankets to 
put through your over your bed. I just love that picture. Don't you think so? Okay, so let's get started. I know people get irritated when I talk too much. I know you can skip this, but um, I don't want to irritate anyone. Okay, so I'm going to grab for this. Uh, it says uh, use a three if you want to go with this uh, yarn. You want to go? With, I would recommend ice yarn because this is the cheapest. And um, I believe uh, there are other brands similar. They're the same. Even the colors are same. Like it doesn't have to be this brand. It can be just feel the yarn and then go for it. The, like which yarn talks to you? Let's say it that way. <laughs> so it says your 3.5 millimeter crochet hook or a D. But I, I, I felt it was too big for me, so I grabbed my two and a half, two millimeter crochet hook. And then I felt it's better to crochet. So let me pull these. Okay, okay so I'm just going to grab, pull this. Okay, we're going to chain a total of six chains, or you can do a magic loop. This one I did a magic loop. Even on the green, it looks nice. This, this is actually pretty nice lime color, but for some reason, it looks, uh, looks brighter on the camera. But this shows the exact color. Okay, if you get distracted, I'll just move this here. Move these, I don't want to get distracted. Okay, so chain total of six, or like I said, I, I eat lots of blueberries, so if you see my nails, it's from the blueberry. <laughs> I'm trying to cleanse my body before I leave. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then go back. Make a slip stitch and then automatically chain two or three and then right after it make three double crochets I'm trying to weave this while I'm crocheting. I haven't been crocheting with uh, thin yarn. This is fine. Number two weight, so it's pretty fine yarn. Okay, I, I did one extra. Sorry about that. So I'm going to go be, go back to the number one where, where we did the chain one. Just going to grab it from here. And this is how I make my puff stitch, my popcorn stitches. And then I'm going to chain one, two, three, total of three. And then I'm going to do four double crochets. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna go back, go back to the first, poke it like that, and pull this. This is how I make my popcorn stitch. One, two, three. Okay, so we have two popcorn stitches here. I'm gonna make six more, total of eight. And I will come back to show you to do the second row. Okay, so I made the last popcorn stitch. So there's the uh, popcorn. So there's one, two, four, six, eight. So I chain three. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to join here and make a slip stitch. And I'm going to chain three. And then I'm going to make a popcorn. Two popcorns total. So I'm going to make three double crochet. And then come back here and grab this 
because I chained two, I went up three, I chained three, you can chain two or three, either way it would work. And then I made three double crochet. So with the one, with the chain, that would be a total of four. I, I would consider that as a double crochet as well. So I'm making the second popcorn, two, three, four, four double crochets. I'm going to poke my crochet hook, grab this and pull this and chain two. Okay, so here we are. So I did this part. Now I'm going to make the V here. So I'm going to jump here and then make a double crochet, chain three. And then make another double crochet on the same chain and I'm going to chain two and I'm going to jump here and I'm going to make I'm going to repeat what we did here I'm going to make two popcorns to do that I need to do lots of double crochets so four double crochets come back here I do it this way if you if you do it differently you're welcome to do it I did get a comment on one of my uh, <clears throat> one of my motifs that I was uh, doing a tutorial, and I was. She said, "Oh, I never saw anyone do popcorn like that." So this is how I do it. I think the other way. I think I did a couple of times. I can't remember. I feel this is. Oops, sorry. Two, three, and then. Four. I think you go back, you turn your work and you grab it from here. I think that's the other way to do it. I believe it's the same way. It pulls the stitches to create a popcorn. And then we chain two and then we jump here and make a double crochet, chain three in between and then make another double crochet on the And then chain two and then jump to the next and then make two popcorns so we're creating these are going to be the corners and I'm gonna make two more and I'll come back to show you the third row of the motif okay so I am doing the V and I did one double crochet three chain and then one double crochet and I'm gonna do two chain and then I'm going to join. So this is how it looks like so far. It's becoming a square from around. It's becoming a square. We created the corners just to show you. See? Making the corners and the pine will be in four pines. Okay, so I'm going to do, you can do a single crochet to join or do a double crochet, it's up to you. So again, we're going to repeat what we did. We're going to make two popcorns. The first would be three double crochet, three chain, and then four double crochet. Two, three, three chains is always in the middle. Then we're going to make four double crochet. One, two, three, four. Okay, just go poke your crochet hook. Okay, now we're going to be doing this. This part. So we're going to make eight double crochets in the V, in the middle, in the V. Then we're going to go around again. Okay, so I'm going to chain two and then jump here and then make a total of eight double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Six, 
seven, eight. Okay. Just like this, chain two. I'm going to jump here and then make two popcorns. And each popcorns is four double crochet. Except when you're joining, you make three double crochet with the chain up. So four double crochet. One, two, three, and then make four double crochets. And then when after that we jump and then we do eight. Three, four. Then poke your crochet hook, grab it. Pull it one, two, chain, and then jump here and make total of eight double crochets. So I'm assuming my it's gonna cut me off. I will see you in part two.